what I'm doing is trying to get the poplar stickies off the bottom of my shoes. I happen to wear my house shoes outside. And ended up with all those stickies on the bottom. And they make a real mess on the floor. So I'm not sure if you can see them on there. These are them here. It's a beautiful old tree, but it can sure make a mess of the yard. Yeah. Dave was out and vacuumed up a lot of the stickies about a week ago. And now with the warmer weather and the heat, they're really um, falling and creating another mess out there. And with the heat, they even get stickier and stick onto everything. But these are my house shoes. And every year I end up going out and making a mess of my shoes and have to scrub them up so I can wear them in the house. If I wore these in the house with that sticky stuff on there, I'd have that all over my floor and that is so hard to get off the floor. I don't remember poplar trees being like that when I was younger, but then my parents didn't have them up by the house either. We used to have to move our vehicles out of the driveway. There's less uh, poplar trees now than what there were, but uh, we used to have to move the vehicles out of the driveway so that these didn't stick all over the, the vehicles, which is so hard to get off. And they do actually do damage to the paint. I might have to use some Goo Goo On on this. And no, Goo Goo On is not paying me to say that. Just using soap and water right now in this brush to try and clean these off my shoes. And it's when you're wearing shoes and you want to run outside, you don't stop and think about. Oh, got to change to my outside shoes. I might have to use some goo going on that. Try the second one here. So the washing machine is an idea, but I've tried that and yeah, they come out looking nice and clean, but that goop still is on there, that glue stickiness, whatever you want to call it. You can hear it when you're walking because it goes, uh, it sticks to the floor and makes us it's like having bubble gum on the bottom of your shoe. I don't know if you've ever had that. I can remember when I was a kid, I took a trip with my aunt and uncle out to British Columbia. And uh, I went everywhere barefoot, never thought anything of it. And uh, we were in Chilliwack and visiting some of their friends. <laughs> and... Uh, I'm running around barefoot and we stopped at a gas station and I never thought anything of it. Ran into the gas station to get a treat and somebody had left bubble gum on the hot pavement. Well, that was a melted 
mess and I stepped in it without thinking because, I mean, I was a farm kid. I didn't <laughs> know what pavement and bubble gum were like. Out on the farm, the bubble gum would have just rolled up into the dirt and been no problem. Well, it stuck to the bottom of my foot. What a horrible, gooey mess. My aunt was not too happy when I climbed back in the car with this on. And uh, we had no way of cleaning it. I mean, that was back in the late 60s, early 70s. <laughs> we didn't have wet ones and, and that type of thing. So we did the best we could with some uh, with a hanky. I don't even think she had Kleenex. Paper towel. It was interesting. I never forgot the incident. The man was quite disgusted that I didn't watch where I was walking. But then she lived in the town. She was used to that. Memories, eh? Well, let's hope. Let's hope this works. Well, it does look better than what it did, but there's still some sticky spots here, so I think I have to get the goo going and wipe them off before I can wear them again. The Goo Gone did its magic on my shoes. They're nice and clean. All the sticky is gone. I can... Oh, there's a little bit, but that's in the crevice, so I'm not going to worry. And I am not uh, in any way being uh, paid to... Uh, promote Goo Gone. It's just a product I had on hand and I used it. That is the big poplar tree that drops all its stuff but boy the leaves get so big they can be up to four or five inches across. They're beautiful but it drops these sticky things. <coughs> Excuse me. It makes a real mess. We have to come out and sweep every morning. Otherwise this would just be full of stickies. See here in the gravel, this is where Dave had had cleaned, I vacuumed them all up with the leaf blower, and uh, yeah, but it does provide a lot of shade. Beautiful tree. I guess we'll have to cover these in the next few days because we're supposed to get freezing temperatures again. And they're starting to come along very nicely. But and I'll have to take in my palm. The geraniums will have to cover. They're so pretty. Everything is coming along so nice.
that was an interesting day. You out cleaning up all those stickies and me taking them off my feet, my shoes, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and, and It's always interesting with them things. And taking them off of our dog, Czar, because, yeah, he gets rather stuck up. But not as bad as what Valentine used to. No. Mind you, Valentine used to, he got them on his feet or on his body, he would just stand like a statue as soon as you got them on there. Oh, terrible. And in Texas, those burrs, oh my, they'd go right through my sandals when I had to go and rescue him. And there he'd stand like a... Like a statue. <laughs> he'd just be... What a dog. He wouldn't move. His, his, he'd be on two feet, and that's the way he stood till you went and picked him up. What's worse, though, Zara Valentine? Um, they're both unique. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we miss our Valentine dog. He was our traveling truck dog. And Zar, well, we got him after we found a, a home to live in. So, he's our home dog. Although he, he has went trucking. He just wasn't into it as much. Yeah, hopefully we don't have to do that anymore. Yeah, no, we're not going to. You can't do it anymore anyway. No, I think I pretty much wore that out. Yeah. So, anyway. Or it's wore me out. Yeah, one or the other. <laughs> probably yeah. both. It's probably both. Anyway, I guess it's time to say thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy our channel. Remember to like. And subscribe. Hit that sub <laughs> yeah. subscribe. Hit that subscribe button if you know what's good for you. <laughs> <laughs> and bang on the bell let you know when, when and if we get any more videos up we appreciate your watching we uh we're challenged into doing this and we've had a grandson that's been after us for a long time to make videos and well it's just one of those things we've thought about and thought about but we got challenged the other day so here we are and you all know what thought ever did. <laughs> Not a thing. <laughs> Thank you. And take Have care. Have a good day. Take care. Bye now. Bye.